Welcome in everyone to RedRaiders.com. I'm Zach Long with Tommy Mogelson. Today the Texas Tech women's basketball program announced their new head coach. And Tommy, they go with one of their own in Candace Whitaker. Yeah, Candy uh, Whitaker, as you all might remember, is uh, Candy White. She played for the Lady Raiders uh, from 2000 to 2002. And really just kind of a, a quick turnaround on this coaching search after Christy Curry stepped down on May 11th. Um, you know, just kind of caught a lot of people off guard, but Tech was uh, real quick with the hire and they brought back one of their own. And Tommy, you talk about Coach Whitaker, a very young coach, has a lot of experience, but very young, only 33 years old. What has her journey been like up to this point to come to Texas Tech? Well, as soon as she left Tech, she uh, hit the ground running in the coaching ranks. She went to Valparaiso for a couple of years as an assistant, and then she went to UMKC. She was there for a couple of years as an assistant, but she was given the, the head coaching job, and she spent six years there, where she was able to turn them into a postseason team in the two lesser tournaments, uh, Women's Basketball Invitational and Women's NIT, and then she spent the last season at Oklahoma State as the associate head coach, so people were definitely uh, taking a look at her. You know, and you talk about that move, steps down at UMKC to take an assistance job at Oklahoma State. Some may look at that and have some concern, but well, from what everything we've heard, that was a very strategic move in what she did. And definitely have to backtrack a little bit. Um, before she came to Tech, she played at uh, Seward uh, Community College in Kansas under Jim Littell, who was the current head coach at Oklahoma State. And Jim definitely recognized um, what he had there and he made a, def uh, a strong offer to uh, Candy to get her there to become the associate head coach. And he, I talked to him uh, earlier today, and one thing he said is he was not sure he was gonna be able to keep her for more than three or four years. He's disappointed he only got it for one, but her impact was definitely seen. She, was, uh, she helped bring in a top 15 recruiting class, and of course that's something Tech's gonna try and uh, duplicate. You know, and from the time that Coach Curry resigned to take the Alabama job, this, this search moved particularly quick. What are some of the other names that looked at before they you know, honed in on Coach Whitaker? Well, of course, um, the one thing I think uh, that Tech really wanted to do is get someone who wanted to be here, who wanted to be in, in Lubbock, who had that West Texas mentality. They definitely did that with Candy Whitaker. There are, of course, former Lady Raiders were tossed around. Noel Johnson, Krista Gerlich, uh, Cammie Etheridge, of course, who has uh, ties to Lubbock. But I think the number one thing that really made Candy an attractive uh, offer is her youth and definitely uh, her tenacity. From everyone I've talked to, they just uh, you know can't say enough about how tenacious she is and how much she can kind of relate to these uh, younger players that she's going to be uh, bringing in. And we're going to get our first look at Coach Whitaker and hear from her on Wednesday morning during a press conference, which is actually open to the public at United Spirit Arena. But until that time, what are some of the immediate concerns she has concerning her current roster and next year's basketball team? Well, immediately what she needs to do is make sure she's not going to lose anyone from this year's team and also that they're going to buy into her system right away. Um, they have a great recruiting class coming in. They have two top 100 guards coming in, Corella Millbrook and Diamond Lockhart, and she needs to make sure that everyone is still on board. So make sure you've got everyone uh, you know, plugged into what she wants, that they understand the style of basketball they're going to play, and also you know, reach out to who your star is going to be next year. Kelsey Baker, of course. You've got Amber Battle coming back. Jackie Patterson. Make sure everyone knows that you know, she's definitely in this, and she wants to uh, make sure that this is going to be a successful uh, upcoming season, not just kind of a you know, uh, growing pains, if you will. Right. And like we said, we're going to get to hear from her at 11 a.m. United Spirit Arena on Wednesday morning, a press conference that's open to the public. They'll hear from Candace Whitaker and her thoughts on taking over the Lady Raiders basketball program. We'll have full coverage from that press conference, photos, videos, all that good stuff. Until then, keep it locked in with Tommy Mogelson. LubbockOnline.com, RedRaiders.com for full coverage of the Lady Raiders' new head coach, Candace Whitaker. For Tommy Mogelson, I'm Zach Long. We'll see you next time.